the teams are warming up. And SoFi Stadium, which opened just a year and a half ago in the Inglewood neighborhood, will welcome 70,000 fans of American football. Officials say spectators must meet COVID vaccination and testing requirements and wear masks. Outdoor venues are getting ready for Super Bowl parties, also with tight restrictions. Tens of millions will be watching from home on television. A sports expert at a nearby university says whether people are sports fans or not, they are waiting for the Super Bowl. In the United States, it's uh, practically a national holiday. It's just become a great celebration, not just of football, but now of entertainments. Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar will perform during the game's halftime show. But that is not all that people wait for. Besides the game, which you might not care at all about the teams involved, um, but you care a lot about the commercials. Creative ads that rival Hollywood productions, says an advertising expert. Super Bowl Sunday to the advertising industry is like Oscar night is to the movie industry. It's the biggest night of the year. We actually see the best commercials from the advertising industry on Super Bowl Sunday. And the most expensive, airing on the most viewed program on American television. This year, the cost for 30 seconds of airtime in the Super Bowl can cost as much as $7 million. These commercials, including production and broadcast fees, can cost more than some full-length movies. If you own the two-minute break, easily with the production, you're topping $25 million. There are also millions of dollars to be made in merchandising, keeping customs agents busy weeding out counterfeits. For fans, it's a celebration, together with family and friends, and for those who can buy tickets costing thousands of dollars watching the game in the stadium. Hosting the Super Bowl is important for Los Angeles, says a sports legend who grew up in the area. It's so big for the community, it's so big for everything, and obviously with the LA Rams in it, it's just like, how does this happen? The Rams last played in the Super Bowl in 2019, when they lost to the New England Patriots in a game in Atlanta. The Bengals have not made it to a Super Bowl since the 1980s, but the drama on the football field is just part of the attraction Super Bowl Sunday. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.